Hey cuties! Life on Rose finally ended the event hiatus with the current release of the first summer event this year. Will these hosts serve you well in the coming sweltering evenings? With the instant charge damage of Golden Boxy and the random assortment of effects of Takamina Kata, Saru Tohiko is a bit slippery to turn down. After his first big splash, he maintains his sterling service of personal damage while providing damage amp so long as he's energized. And what better sight to stimulate Saru Tohiko and his fellow hosts than our guests indulging in decadence? When he or anyone else inflicts debuffs on these guests, they react by building their host's charge up. Other staple amenities Saru Tohiko offers include debuff mid, healing, and defense amp. The right team of fellow indulgent hosts can maintain peak energy, though arranging such an A-team is no simple task. Incessant damage and a neat party trick in hand, Saru Tohiko can service you thoroughly in both farming and challenges. This headless, obese Lovecraftian god is seeking new priests to his cause, with an offer you can't and shouldn't refuse. Rushing to bring more playthings to his personal paradise of lust, Eagle Knock numbs his group's sense of pain and fear. Clients marked with his love bites savor their most depraved desires, and Eagle Knock is more than happy to indulge. The bittersweet taste of decadent debuffs will massively invigorate his nearby attendees, with Eagle Knock dispensing his own placebos in the cocktail mix. He may further tease customers by locking in their chastity, bringing them to their limit and intensifying their need for sweet release. Strong for challenges, but only in very particular debuff responsive teams, Eagle Knock has been struggling all this time, living without head every day. I volunteer to remedy that. After being told the news his variant would only be featured as a 4 star, Bahel decided to connive his way into taking his rightful place as a unit with 5 star strength. At a major cost, this demonic prosecutor is the only native, triple equivalent instant board wide damage buffer in the game. The catch? Like Cocopelli, he suffers from extremely low rates and an inconvenient activation condition, in this case, getting debuffed within the first 5 turns. The utility of this, combined with his low rate conditional buff purging and flat damage on enemies, limits him to use in short length challenges, not for longer battles or for farming. His vanity got the better of him, and his illegal action against life wanders has rewarded him with the ability to activate all these effects, with partial safety from damage. Quest restrictions aside, Bael makes an excellent case to be your number one pick. The Thunder Daiki of Kitesh storms into the host club with an AR that commands ferocity from his fellow staff. The clients he approaches are enthralled and feel a rush of arousal, and those that they are approach him will inevitably find themselves paralyzed from the waist down. To both, Peron will show no mercy in ravaging them, and he will not discriminate with his insatiable lust quickly reaching its peak. In the relentless, bitter cold of the snowy nights in his world, Peron has mastered the skill to grind his victims to dust, passionately infusing their organic warmth within himself. This power of infusion he now shares with his entourage, who will receive the client's essence, arousal and all. Mild in immediate strength, Peron isn't well suited for farming, but does have massive gimmick potential and challenges. Enjoy your time and savor melding your parts with his. In standard column clear practice, this dancing lung brings high personal damage to his own column while providing additional amp to his team. Badong's rates are somewhat shaky, and also depend on his being on tip-top shape. Luckily, his beguiling performance often stuns any clients from burning him back, and he's come prepared with healing, damage mitt, and debuff mitt, in a rare case he fails to secure love at first sight from his prey. His most interesting ability, however, is his forceful positioning to step up to the front while rearranging fellow frontline hosts. This bold play ensures the frontline is immediately filled in thinner venues, uniquely benefiting supportive units restricted by limited range and movement. Good for any quests and tall maps, you can think less about the difficulties of life and lose yourself to the moment essentially with the battle. What a solid lineup of hosts! There is no risk of crying foul when obtaining any of these units, as even the least impressive of them still holds their head up high. Everyone here is getting bitches, and you're the first one on their list. You should pull. But keep in mind a couple caveats. 
These Playboy performers provide a unique power whose obscurity may be difficult to address. The selection of units that would complement them are admittedly sparse. For the same reason, these units are currently unlikely to be a part of the most cutting edge of teams. Their strength will only grow with time though, as more units join the fray. That's all for now, cuties. Catch you next time!